Hello, welcome to the next section, Composing Static Maps. In this section we'll create maps using PYQGIS, QT Image Objects and QGIS Map Composer to create map layouts that can be exported as documents or images. We'll begin this section by creating a simple map renderer. Then we'll be learning to use the Map Composer. Moving on we'll be adding many things to a map like labels, scale bar arrow, logo, legend, custom shape grid, table and word file. We'll then be saving and loading the map. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with creating the simplest map renderer. In order to turn a dynamic GIS map into a static map image or document, we must first create a renderer to freeze the map view and create a graphic version of it. So in this video we'll render a map to a JPEG image and save it. Let's begin. You'll need to download this zipped shapefile from this link and extract it to your QGIS underscore data directory in a subdirectory named Hancock. These are the extracted files. Once the extraction is completed, we'll now move to the Python console for the coding part. Here first, we need to import the underlying QT libraries required for image handling. We import QT GUI and QT core libraries. Next, we load the layer and add it to the map. As you can see, the layer has been added to the map. Now we'll create a blank image to accept the map image. This is the code for doing that. The true indicates that the blank map has been created. Then we access the map renderer. Now we get the IDs of the map layers. Then we'll tell the newly initialized renderer to use any layers in our map. Now we'll get the full extent of the map as a rectangle. Then we set a scale for the renderer. Here smaller numbers produce a larger scale and larger numbers produce a smaller map scale. Also we can change the map scale to create a buffer around the map image. Next we set the extent of the renderer to the rectangle. This is the code for doing it. And true indicates that it's been set. Now we set the output size and resolution of the image. The resolution is automatically calculated. Once this is done, we can now render the map and finalize the image. Finally, we save the map image. This part of the code denotes the path of the map image. Come, let's verify that we have a map image in our QGIS data directory, similar to the map displayed in QGIS. Here, QGIS uses the underlying QTGUI library to create common image types. The Q image object supports other image formats as well. To save a map image to a PNG, replace the last step. And when we check, we can find the PNG file. Well, this brings us to the end of this video. Here we successfully created the simplest map renderer. 